inflectional, inflectional. So the prefix then is a derivation of motion. So if the canonic word for length is nun so this is length it, and it is now. If you omit nun, then that means krugu means long, adjective, right? Then we can reasonably predict that long is krugu. Okay? Okay, another language, Ganda. Spoken in Uganda it can be inferred from the okay, singular and plural. For example, doctor, Omusawu, doctor, and it is noun. When you add Aba instead of Omu, it means doctor. So it makes it plural. That means this is also a bound inflectional morphine. And it is attached to the beginning of the word. Same here. Omukasi abakasi. Women. Women. Omu wala aba wala. Omusika abasika. Yes. So that movie is like Kiyumi. Like Kiyumi. Like, like. That's Omukasi. Is umkoga in singular, but umkoga in plural abakoga in mm -hmm. our mother tongue. Umkoga abakoga. And again, yes. Write some examples. Singular. Because omu, it indicates that the noun is single. Elicano, uh, a language of the Philippines, repetition of the first part of the singular form. Now here, it, it has a different process. Here, you reduplicate, you repeat the first part. For example, head, ulo. Ulo. Ululu. Hats. Dala. 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 Pia. Pia. You see? Ul. Ul. Ululu. Da. 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 Mula. Mul. Mul. 
La murmura. So you see, you read out the cake, you copy the first part, and you repeat it, you attach it. Okay? So, for example, Tartalon fields. Now, if this is the plural form, what is it is singular form? Talon. Uh, of course, talon. Why? Because you, you add just talon. Takaloka now the language of the Philippines. Basa ri bumasara imperative. Read. Okay. This is to read, the infinitive form. Basa to read. Okumak. Bumasa. Bumasa. Shumasa. Bumasa. Then it means read. Babasa. Bamasa. Uh, will read he or she. So, guys, check out. Basa, um, masa. What do we add here? Um. um. Because, see, ba, you add um here between uh, b and t, it's bumasa. This is the imperative. And here, babasa, that's read application here. Remember, read application. Babasa. Basa, babasa. See, tawak, tum, tumawak, tatawak. Sulab, sum, sumulat, uh, susulat. And the first one in each column, two does a stand, then in the second item in each column, nada natum has been inserted. So, repetition or duplication of the first syllable is made to mark future reference. Okay? Using this information, we can complete these examples. For example, walk, lock out, lumaka. Because we insert um. Okay? And. Lalaka? Yes. Was that the repetition? Lalaka. Laka for the Yes. Laka? Laka. Are you sure? There's no repetition in the. Okay, this is for imperative. We're talking about imperative. This is the B form. Walk. Laka? Luma. Luma cut and Lala Lapit Luma Luma Lapit like um um Luma Pit Lala So Define the term morphology and morphemes. What was morphology? Study of basic forms. The study of the basic forms, elements used to convey a message in a language. What is the difference between bound and, and free morphemes? Bound morphemes cannot stand alone. They cannot be used on their own. They have to be attached to another frame. Whereas free morphemes, they can stand separately, individually, free of other forms as single forms. So if you label this for now under prefix dollar standard suffix but this is bound free bound okay and here k 
carelessness, care, stem, stem, stem and, and it is free. 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 Suffix, bound, 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 bound. <laughs> suffix, suffix, and bound. But if you okay, if you categorize them as inflectional, and functional, and lexical, and derivational, care is lexical. Derivation just in bound morphemes. Less derivationalness. Derivation, but it's bound. What are the intellectual morphemes in the following sentence? The boy's behavior is sharp, gentle. Remember, inflectional are bound morphemes. Bound. So, bounds, remember, with nouns and verbs and adjectives. So, here, boys. Boys, this is inflectional because it says it as. Behaviors. Z, plural, and then shocked past tense.